Good morning, YouTube! This is Buddy1927, and this is Medieval Engineers! And I salute you for checking us out. Okay, this is episode 2 of season 2. And, of course, we got to build ourselves a warehouse. And I got caught up on most of the um engineer skills um one i still have to make is the grissom mill i've already made the sawmill but i haven't done a sawmill so in this episode we are going to build two mills or one mill and um, we're going to build the grissom mill and hopefully maybe if we have time build the sawmill at the same time so stick around i'll be right back And welcome back hopefully I have all the materials I need to build the mill now the Santa Gerson mill has the um, the mill itself right underneath um, the windmill and so what but I want two different types of Gerson mills I want I want a um, rough Gerson mill and a smooth Gerson mill the smooth Gerson mill gr um, grinds um for the oil linseed oil and the other one the coarse grist mill grinds the wheat and makes wheat bread and some other items so what we are going to do is make two grist mills in one mill so but first we are going to complete at least one of the one side of the grist mill so what we need to do is start off with the Grissom Mill. Which one's Grissom Mill? There's Grissom Mill. So we'll get that set up. Um, the other thing I need to do is get a couple other things set up. Gotta have your ship's ladder. I don't need a hoe. So let's start off with the Grissom Mill. So we've got number nine. And because it takes comes from the top, I went ahead and um, I went ahead and got it to come. I went one block down. I think this is the right spot. Let's see. Number three. Yes. Okay. What am I missing? Oh, millstone. Uh, let's see. There we go. Wait a minute. <laughs> let's try that again. We are going to build the millstone. I thought I hit F and said I hit G, so. There we go. We need timber. We got timber, and we need five stones. So let's, and actually we're going to need two of them, so let's. Excuse me. And we'll put that into our inventory. And this is 100%. Okay, now what we need is a downward, oops, go back to this one, which is downward. I think that's the right one. No. Downward, this is... Okay, and we are going to use the framed downward. Okay, and pound that into spot. 
next thing we are going to put in this thing is we are going to use the where is it uh, there it is the mechanical switch so we can actually turn on and off which side of the mill that we want to so we want the switch here and I hit the wrong button again hey let's play that game again count how many times I mess up how many times I press the wrong button here we go number three and we got the one and zero I guess that's off and on I don't know and then we need a split so let's hit G and that's the one we need I think no Number nine. Nope, that's the wrong one. So let's get the right one here. Now that isn't what I picked. I picked this one, not the stairs. Yeah, no. No, that's not the right one. Is this one? This is the downward split. I want the upward split. This is the one I want. That is the one I want. Okay. And number three. There we go. Now what this one does, it we're going to go three verticals up and then attach the windmill. But what this does is actually splits and turns. And what this does is turns this off and on. So if I only want, I need some small stones. So if I only want this mill going, all the energy, I would turn off this mill, and all the energy would be going down to this one. If I want this mill, I turn that off and would turn this one on and have all the energy going down to there. So I do need to get some small stones. I thought I had everything. I had everything but the small stones to finish the plot. I don't want that. I want the stones. I think that's enough. Okay. So we're going to put, let's finish building the mechanical one first. Okay, we're going to build the second mechanical one now. Oh, number eight. And we'll pound that into place. And that's 100% set. So we need the grissom mill again, which is G. And pound that into place. Then we go back to the downward 
come on. And we'll go to the downward. Uh, go to G. Mechanical joint down. And we'll turn it so it connects to that. And we'll hit three. So we got one on, one off, and all that mumbo jumbo. Okay, what we need to do next is get the vertical. Press G again, and we want three vertical up, because that is the maximum that actually works, believe it or not. I don't know why. <coughs> and as you can see, I hit the wrong button again. Okay, we get to here. We want the vertical, number nine. Oops, and I screwed up. We always want to use the the frame version, not the um, plain one. Frame version that way it gets it makes it a lot more stable and less likely for the fan uh, the windmill to collapse. Okay, and we're going to use number seven. Scaff some scaffolding. There we go. Okay, and let's back out of that and go back get our stairs. As I hit the wrong button again. Guys, I will tell you this right now from personal experience. Don't ever get diabetic neuropathy because you have no feelings. And that's what I have. No feelings in my hands. So I used to be able I used to be able to tell the difference because um, my keyboard had little notches so I know which number nine. My keyboard had a little notches so I know which one was what button and since I have no feelings in my fingertips in both hands I can't feel those notches no more. So that's why I make all these mistakes. So I have a pretty damn good excuse but it's not good enough. So I want the ladder again. <coughs> Okay, let's climb back up, and we're going to have the third one. And we'll pick that ladder up. And we're going to do the vertical. One more vertical. And since we are going to have this extend one block out so we can actually attach a wall... I'm going to get, grab something else after we pound this one into place. And we hit G again. And we are going to get a vertical support. There it is. One sloped wooden support. I'm sorry. Wooden support. And we're going to put that on to our last... Actually, I forgot to, um, ah, crap, I forgot to add the, uh, here we go, okay, number eight, we are going to attach this to that, and as you can see, the slope is going into the um, windmill, and we're going to use that. We're going to attach something to that. So let's get number seven here. I 
And number six, because we're going to need a ladder. Let's get our. And we are now going to get the downward. Or the up joint. No, we want the down joint. And we're going to twist it so that it's facing that way. As you can see, that's facing that way. So we are going to hit number three, pound that into place. Okay, I already have knowledge. Okay, <laughs> I did cr I did create the sawmill um, one so I can get some parts. Uh, we are now going to go back to G and we are going to horizontal shaft. Wait a minute. I forget which one to use. I think it's the joint. Nope. G. It's the horizontal shaft, and of course, we're going to use the frame version. Number three. And now we get to tear down our staff lane. Double check and making sure everything's at 100% as we are going down. <laughs> And everything's at a hundred percent cool now what we got to do is build the windmill so what I'm going to do is number seven Six. Now, um, the mods I am using on this is the ship's ship ladder mod and the scaffolding mod. You can find them on Steam in the workshop area of Medieval Engineers. I forget who. I think both of these are done by Wolfguard, but I might be wrong because it's been a while. And I forgot which one has what. Okay, now we got to go for the windmill, mechanical windmill. Yep, we got to go up one more higher. So let's pick that up. Number V, number seven. No, number seven. Let's go one more up. Now, number six. Now, let's try to get the mill up. Nine. And I'm too far away. What am I missing? I should be able to get that up now. Let's go to G. Let's use one of the walks. C. V. And I died. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got my body back. I just went ahead and added one there. And we are now going to try again to put the mill back up. <coughs> and we're going to turn it. And there we go. Now we got to hit it with the hammer and build it. 
and we have this too far out so we are going to pick this up actually wait a minute I know what I can do V number seven okay and now let's try number three and we got the windmill turning so we start picking this stuff up and we'll come take that down take that down pick this up Now I never built it. I just put down this the blocks for the scaffolding. So everything's up and going. And none of it's Okay. Oh, that one is turning. This Ah. That's one, number three. Okay, there we go. Now we got to build, craft a coarse mill. And I think that's done here. Millstone. There we go. So I need some round timber. So we're going to craft actually both, one each of the stones. Oh, the other one takes six. And we are going to place these millstones. We've got one coarse and one smooth. And we're going to put the coarse one in, and all you have to do is go down these stairs, find the coarse mill. And we need to get some wheat to make two flour sacks. So I do have some. This is my little pity farm right now. I got three things growing. Oh, four things growing. That one and that one. And we need to craft. I think I got enough. So we'll put that in there. We'll hit F. On. Do I need to go get more? Evidently, I didn't grab enough wheat. I'm getting tired of these world saves. <laughs> but it is dangerous building the mill. As you saw, I did fall and die. <coughs> yeah, I'm hitting the wrong button again. I was hitting R instead of F to pick up the stuff. Okay, let's try this again.
There we go. <coughs> and we have completed both the mills and stuff like that. Tell you what, um, I'm going to build the sawmill secondary, but I do have another thing. So let me pause the video and I'll show you how to make the ore crusher. Okay, guys, this is our, this is my, um, my mine over there, and this is where we will grind our ore, and this is the mill that I built to make the sawmill. I took the sawmill out, and now I'm going to add the ore crusher, which is a, um, yeah, that's the right one. Which is also a mod found on the um, found on the um, Steam um, my mind this one completely blank Steam medieval medieval engineers workshop area. I've, it's been a while since I've. Had there it is. We need to create a a grinding stone. So we need four large stones. Okay. One log and two metal parts. I don't have a log on me, so let me go grab a log and we'll just put this here. This is what I've been using as a base. I've been waiting to make the um, thing here. We got some logs here. And I hit the wrong button. I just need one. Just need one log. And here we go. We are going in here. We are going to craft the log. Uh, keep on hitting the wrong buttons, guys. I'm sorry. So sorry. Where is it? I know it's here because we had it. And as you can see, I have plenty. That's the manual, the hand powered one. Which uses the same stone. Okay, there's the stone. What am I missing? I got a log. Ah, it doesn't take palm tree logs. So let me get one of the regular logs if I still have any. Yeah, I still have some regular logs. So... Let's just get a regular log. <coughs> okay guys, make sure. Some materials you might have to go out and get. Luckily I have... I hit the wrong button again. But luckily I have the collected a couple of regular logs there we go and now we can craft one and I'm sorry this video is a little extra long but at least you get to see how both mills will operate I'm gonna grab I got some more here so I'll grab some and I'll show you what the or what this actually does. Okay. What we'll do is we'll go ahead, hit F, and we are going to add the ore crusher. And as you can see, it spins the crusher. And then we are going to put some stone in there. 
And what it does, it, crush, it crushes the stone. It makes bags. It grinds the iron ore into bags. So it actually makes more um, iron ore than this, what we have in there. I put in six stacks of five crushed ore and we got eight out, out of one stack of five. And what you will do, I'll just go ahead and grab that while it might not take it. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll go to the furnace. And we'll add our sacks. Okay. You create two. You create two, um, since we had ten out of that five. Since it had ten out of the five, and we'll just go ahead and add. We got ten here. And what it does, it takes five crush ore to make one ingot. And it takes five ores to make one ingot. And what you do is when you crush it, you end up getting 10 crush ore and you end up making 10 ingots. So that doubles your production of ore making. And we can turn that off. And I put in a total of 20 crushed ore and now I got four. If I would have done that, I only would have got... That would have been equivalent of 10 crushed ore. I only would have got 10 crushed ore. So it actually makes more ore for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit, hit, give me some thumbs up. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have fun playing the games. And I'll see you in the next video.